I am here at Mango Radio with JB. I met JB on Mount Apo, literally above the clouds. He interviewed me on the YouTube channel from Mango Radio. He got a lot of good stuff out of me. <laughs> a lot of deep things that I didn't know I'd be talking about today. Mango Radio is a good platform to educate people, particularly about the Christian faith. I have found life here and my calling and fulfillment in life. If you have an analog radio, you can check us out at 102.7 FM in Davao and 91.5 FM in Zamboanga. If you don't have an analog radio, you can tune in to tunein.com. And on YouTube. Just look for Mango Radio Philippines. Thank you, JB. Thank you. Your story. My story. The story of Christ on Mango Mornings. And we're back. Check your time at 7.37. This is still Mango Mornings. My name is Bernie, together with Aya and Pastor JB. This beautiful and yet gloomy Wednesday morning. You see, we're filled with stories. And some of the stories, you know, you can express it through words, writing them. Or you can sculpt them, you know, making sculptures or mm -hmm. paint them. We've done that for several of the guests that we have over. But uh, this will be the first time, though, that we'll be having someone who actually does blogging with video so that's what they call vlogs <laughs> vlogs blah 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 <laughs> anyway so um this is now a medium that is being used by most people especially in expressing themselves or want to get out there you know the the things that they've been doing or the things that they or the places that they've been to mm -hmm. and to just share the joy that they have of doing all of these things right. you know even if you can't be there like yesterday when we have that uh, video about the not apple track that pastor jb did last weekend mm -hmm. yeah. mm. If only. But, you know, I'm excited and to see that uh, they, they're they enjoying the experience to share that with us. Oh, that's amazing. And it's still fresh. It's still fresh. <laughs> yes. And speaking about fresh, he actually met someone over there and they trekked together. And um, he interviewed this guy over there. But, wow, in a turn of events, we have him here in person. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so a vlogger and definitely a, a sports and a fitness enthusiast and a, hmm, somebody who likes to tell stories. Let us all welcome Andre Benedict. Good morning, Andre. Good welcome morning, to guys. Mango. Thank Good you for morning. having me. Mm. Thank you. And thank you to JB for in, in, uh, inviting me. Ah. Yes. It's a privilege. Yes. Well, yeah, tell us uh, about what you do. When did you start vlogging and uh, what pushed you to do it? I started <laughs> vlogging in, uh, <laughs> in high school, actually. Ah, okay. But this new channel I started last September. Mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was out of, actually, a heartbreak. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was trying to heal from a from a person, and mm -hmm. I decided that I wanted to go to the Philippines mm -hmm. and travel and see different beautiful places. Mm -hmm. You know, God's creation, mm -hmm. and tell stories and mm -hmm. reflect on my experiences there. Mm -hmm. And it's really helped me heal and helped mm -hmm. me discover new people, new places, and the beauty of life. Of things that a broken heart could do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you're originally from. I'm, or, I'm originally from North Dakota. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. U.S. Next to Canada. Uh -huh. Two right. hours from the border. Mm -hmm. But I lived in California, Los Angeles, for mm -hmm. seven years. I went to college there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, you mentioned that you have relatives here, right? In in the Philippines. Yes, in Davao and uh, Manila. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So. Uh, Philippines is more accessible in terms of, you know, uh, a destination where you can start vlogging. That's that right. Why? When I entered the country, it was, they gave me a year visa. So, oh, wow. yeah, mm -hmm. I'm good until October, but I think I'll be leaving the country and coming back to renew that mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. September. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So looking at the contents of your uh, yeah. channel, uh, by the way, you can check him out, uh, Android Benedict on YouTube, That's right? right? The main channel where he puts his blog. Um, you are interested in subjects like uh, the natives in, in the Philippines yes, and yeah. uh, other things indigenous that are Indigenous people. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the more correct term. So why, why is that? <laughs> uh, I, I just had the opportunity to meet with them mm -hmm. through, uh, through a relative. Oh. The relative had a friend whose wife is actually a indigenous person. Mm -hmm. oh. So it was amazing. Um, I went to Buddha for the first time. I saw the sea of clouds. Ah. Yes, it was amazing. And then we s met with the indigenous people and they mm -hmm. showed me how they cook, how they dance, mm -hmm. their instruments, mm -hmm. uh, how they create these bracelets out of bamboo. Mm -hmm. And it was just pretty, you know, pretty life altering experience. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was a good to see kind of into my heritage mm -hmm. for the first time. And it was, I can't describe it. I think I described it in the video well. <laughs> it's good to know. So basically when you conceptualize about the contents uh, of the videos that you want to share with the people, what is it that you're looking for? I'm not looking for anything. I think I'm trying to find, I'm trying to go someplace mm -hmm. and see how that place 
uh, what that place takes out of me. Mm. Okay. And after I review the footage, you know, I cut it. I, it usually takes me about a week to make a video. Wow. Um, I can reflect on the footage and see how I felt afterwards, during, and before. Mm -hmm. And every time, there's something that I've taken away from it. So, mm -hmm. and I think you can see that in the content yeah. if you decide to check it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really good. I mean, fascinating because you're a one-man band. Yes, yeah. that's right. That <laughs> yeah. was my question. Do you have so you, a team doing this? Or no, is it's it just, just all you? It's all me. I film, edit, and produce all the content right now. Mm -hmm. uh. I do want to expand in the future, but I think it's I think there's something to be said about building something on your own first and proving to yourself that you mm. can do it. You yeah. know? Mm. Cool. Now, um, since you've lived in California and you lived in North Dakota, now all of these places have their own in, their indigenous um, peoples. Oh, that's right. Yeah, like um, First Nations. Mm -hmm. And um, being uh, a person who is not from, originally from there, but of course your family moved there. Now you they have their backgrounds there. And now you now you know that you have uh, a background for yourself uh, and the Filipino background. When you first discovered that, and you know when you first saw all of these people and experienced them when you went on your trek and doing your vlog. Did it give you a fresh perspective and a pre appreciation of your own heritage, knowing that, uh, hey, I have my own rich heritage that I can share with others? Mm. Did the, it come to mind? Oh, yes. That was probably one of the main things I took away from that mm. uh, video mm -hmm. that I made with the indigenous people. Because when I was growing up in the U.S., mm -hmm. there was a, you know, there's a sense of emptiness. Mm. I didn't have a sense of identity. Uh. I didn't look like everyone else in North Dakota. <laughs> so um, it was... I think coming here, you know, mm -hmm. it's it's completing myself as a person. I'm finding, I'm truly finding myself in a very real way. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes that's a cliche statement is like finding yourself, but it's real here. And that's mm -hmm. why I, I enjoy it so much. <laughs> so Philippines is uh, something that you find interesting in terms of uh, culture, yes. um, the people, and uh, places, of course. And the food, you can't forget the, the food. food. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, looking at your content, uh, it's basically the... Uh, it's all about that. Um, when you started uh, vlogging, what was the most unforgettable experience that you've had? Unforgettable. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> mm. I would say, oh man, there's there's so many. Each video. Okay. Uh, I think the first three videos are the foundation of the channel, mm. and it's it kind of shows you guys where I came from mm. and why I started this. Mm. Mm. I think the second video on the channel is me getting rid of. Up everything in my public storage that I had in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. ah. giving away things like projectors and guitars to people, oh. and just would, giving away. Yeah, just giving away. You're not even uh, even having uh, like a sale or something. No? no, no, no. I wanted to just give it away because it was weighing me down. You yeah. know, these these things, these items that I thought mm -hmm. that would make me happy, they weren't making me happy because I couldn't. I felt like I couldn't move. I was suffocated by mm. material things, mm. and to let go of that, mm. that was a transformational experience. Mm -hmm. So. And then coming here, you know, the freedom of being here, being able to travel without thinking about, you know, this pile of stuff that I have back home, mm. felt like I could fly. <laughs> That's good. And symbolic of uh, getting rid of the things that weigh you down. Yeah. Not only materially, but uh, emotionally. That's right. I guess. Mm -hmm. That's right. So pretty much those things have uh, like uh, emotional value or sentimental value that reminds you of something <laughs> i think they did before but to yeah. let go of that mm. that was the heal you know mm. that was the healing experience that was the message that i mm. found <laughs> that's the, okay. that's the thing i reflected on and i think that's something that everyone can learn from mm. do you also find that there's a like a, a spiritual renewal when you when you do these um videos like you know when getting in touch with nature and uh, meeting them other people who also have that kind of experience yeah of course i think that you can find i think i find god in different places mm -hmm. huh. i don't think faith is like a straight line i think that you go through dips valleys but you also go through highs right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think that seeing the beauty of these places it's not it's not uh normal for me i know for many filipinos the beach is like pretty normal but for me it's pretty spectacular mm. and uh especially sunsets and sunrises Mm. Mm. <laughs> I get to reflect on my faith and what God is trying to tell me. Mm. So you're more of a nature guy. Oh, I think I <laughs> I think I have a wide range. I like the city. I like okay. the outdoors. Mm. And, you know, I like routine, but I also like 
being free and having an open schedule. Mm -hmm. Spontaneous. That's right. Mm. When you make these videos, what kind of audience do you have in mind? I think about, oh, I think about myself at my lowest. Mm -hmm. You know, I think about myself uh, when I was going through a pretty deep depression. Mm -hmm. And I know there's so many people out there that feel that way. Mm -hmm. And so I think that the person that I'm thinking of when I make these videos mm -hmm. they're the people who are the lowest who think that there's nothing out there in life for them that the world isn't beautiful that there's a negative connotation to everything mm -hmm. i want to give them hope that the world is beautiful mm -hmm. there's meaning to this mm -hmm. and you can move forward no matter where you came from or what you're going through that's beautiful yeah so what's up next for andre uh, you started in September last year, and now a couple of videos already <laughs> uploaded. Right. And uh, I figured that uh, Mount Apple Experience is coming up. That's coming, right, yes. This week. <laughs> yeah, that's coming next week. <laughs> yeah, we are excited about it. But uh, what's next? What's the long-term plan for your channel? Well, I think I think I want to continue documenting my experiences in the Philippines, mm -hmm. in Asia, and the world. But because I'm a one-man team, I can't mm -hmm. move as fast as I, other people could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think consistent hard work will get me there, mm -hmm. and patience. Mm. because I only have 15 videos up right now but at least that's consumable for someone it's not too daunting you can consume all my content yeah. and I can slowly build an audience mm. and touch more people mm. Mm. gradually mm. your videos will be more like a, on the serious side no so sometimes, fun, sometimes, one sometimes it's because <laughs> <Let's show. laughs> oh yes some some, right. some some vloggers would feature like their you know um, bloopers. <laughs> the bloopers. Oh, they, they, I mean, uh, I had a wedding experience, mm. and that went pretty wild. <laughs> Do tell us about it, and why was it wild for you? Because we did a uh, we did a game of telephone, mm. but it was also like charades, uh -huh. and okay. uh, <laughs> uh, the topic was movies. This is just one example, but mm. there were many. Mm. Uh, we were doing charades and telephone. We were all in. These are all my relatives. We were all in a line, and the movie that was given to us was Fifty Shades of Grey. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we have kids yeah. listening, tuning in. Okay then. <laughs> All right. Well, change topic. Change, change topic. topic. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, yeah. but it's okay. It's the truth. Yeah, everybody knows about it. Yeah. But uh, the recent experience that we have had, because I met Andre during the Mount Apple hike, right? Mm. I I shared my reflection yesterday because I was so excited mm. to tell people about it, and those are meaningful reflections while walking alone and and just connecting with nature because I'm a nature guy and that's yeah. how I connect with God. Can you give us a glimpse of what's gonna be the content or reflections of your next vlog? So that, of Mount Apple. Uh, mm -hmm. Your personal experience maybe? Oh man. Or personal reflection that really moved you? And yeah, so I live pretty close to here in mm. San Pedro village mm -hmm. and in the backyard mm. I can see Mount Apple mm. from the balcony and Especially just, early morning. Eh? That's right, yeah. When there's no clouds. Mm. And you can just imagine what it felt like to be at the top of that. Yeah. And before I climbed Mount Apo, you know, I would see it, but it would seem like an impossible task, right? Mm -hmm. And then now, I mean, just that simple climb, mm. I see it now and it's like, I, I miss it. I miss the beauty of it. Huh. I miss the people that I met, like JB here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that definitely changed me. Mm. By the way, yesterday, um, one of the women that you interviewed, she said that if she was able to conquer Mount Apo, <laughs> then, then, she go then she could go abroad and conquer that as well. Yeah. So what about you? Because then before you said that you were just looking at it from, from below and now you were actually at the peak. Mm -hmm. So did that change your perspective as well on how you view life now? I think that getting to the top, mm -hmm. I mean, we both saw the sign the highest peak in the Philippines, right? Yeah. I think that sense of accomplishment mm -hmm. has given me more confidence that, you know, it's pretty limitless what mm -hmm. I can do with this channel, with my content, how many people I can uh, touch, literally above the clouds, right? Well, the story that we have discussed so far about your life is from brokenness, depression, uh, dark valley, and then you have this experience recently that you conquered and was standing on the, the, the highest peak of the Philippines. So I thought that was a, a glorious one and uh, telling us while listening to your story that you have this courage to really face the problems head on and uh, did not allow that experience, whatever that is, <laughs> that broke your heart to prove to people that we are capable of overcoming our fears, that thing that uh, pinned us down and then uh, 
stand back again. So what is your encouragement to our listeners right now who might be going through that rough time, that dark valley in their life? And uh, you can imagine, right, uh, walking the trail of Mount Mm Apo, like from the beginning until you reach the top, it's agonizing. (laughs) Yeah, brutal. (laughs) Brutal, (laughs) right, that's a term. And that reflects our journey in life as well. And I'm pretty sure you can relate to that. So we have listeners right now who are going through that moment. Mm -hmm. How how can you encourage them? And uh, your message for them. So... Okay, if you're listening right now, Mm. I just want to tell you that I've been in that place where I don't want to move. Mm. I don't even want to open my eyes. Mm. I don't even want to sit up, Mm. you know? I don't Mm. want to take care of myself. And just know that it's up to you, you know? Mm. It's up to you. But it's not going to be a big one decision. It's not going to be one big effort one day. Mm -mm. It's going to be every day. And I know that sounds horrible right now. If you're going through something, (laughs) it's going to be every day. But you have to find the little lights in your life, Mm. not the one big light. I Mm. mean, the one big light would be God, right? Yes. Mm. But the little lights would be something like someone saying hello to you, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm. someone asking how you are, Mm. someone, you know, someone that you just met that opened the door for you, something small. Mm. And Mm. these small things will pile up and give you more hope. Mm -hmm. And then you will be able to see the bigger things after you get through that. Mm. So that would be my advice. Just look for the small lights. Mm. Beautiful. Those little lights could be us also in the lives of other people. Andre, please invite our listeners. How can they find you? You can find me on YouTube. It's Andre Benedict, Mm -hmm. A-N-D-R-E. On Instagram, Andre Benedict with two C's. (laughs) And then Facebook as well, Andre Benedict. Mm. All right. Well, cool. thank you so much for your time this morning, brother. And uh, we really enjoyed talking with you. And we wish you all the best mm. in your endeavors, that it will be fruitful uh, and successful. And uh, rest assured that our listeners will also support you in your endeavors. Amazing. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you welcome. for coming nice over. Nice to meet you guys. Mm-hmm. Well, friends, on Mega Radio, we are communicating, communicating the, the love of God. God.